Hi, this is Jason from Horrific Nightmares, and welcome back to our Seldom Seen series. Now, this is where we take a look at a sequel or a movie that we don't feel like a lot of people have seen or know about, and we think deserves a little bit more light. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about Look What's Happened to Rosemary's Baby. Look What's Happened to Rosemary's Baby is a 1976 film that runs 96 minutes, and this is a TV movie. Now, this is directed by Sam Osteen, and it stars Stephen McCaddy as Adrian slash Andrew, Patty Duke as Rosemary, and Ruth Gordon as Minnie. Now, this also has Ray Milan and Donna Mills in it, so it's pretty much chock full of your typical TV stars. Except for Ruth Gordon, Ruth Gordon was the only one that des decided to come back, and she was actually the one that won the Oscar for Best Supporting Actress for Rosemary's Baby. Now, Sam Osteen was the editor on the original Rosemary's Baby, and did work with Roman Polanski again on Frantic. Now, as I said, this was a TV movie, and Joe and I actually put a lot of thought and effort into our videos. It may not look like it, it may not sound like it, but the reason why we picked this one for this month is because our monthly theme Thursday has been made for TV horror, and this is no exception. <clears throat> now, this is basically what happens after Rosemary's Baby. Uh, another interesting thing about this film that I forgot to mention was Patty Duke was actually considered for the role of Rosemary for the original film. So it's kind of, kind of makes sense that she was picked for the TV movie. Now, they named this child Adrian. Rosemary's baby, of course. <clears throat> Rosemary takes the child, changes his name to Andrew, and goes on the run. Meanwhile, the Satanists, uh, Ruth Gordon and Ray Milan, who takes the place of her husband and Rosemary's baby, they are constantly tracking Adrian, or Andrew, depending on how you look at it. And Adrian has these powers that are developing, and Basically, what the Satanists want is when he comes of age and a certain thing happens to him, which I'm not going to spoil. Um, actually, both Joe and I were trying to figure out what to say about this film because it's not really easy to find. So, I don't know if a lot of people are going to be able to watch it, but I still don't want to spoil anything because that's just the way I am. Um, eventually somebody will be able to see it that's listening to this now, and I don't want it to be ruined for them. So, with that being said, they are waiting for a certain thing to happen to Adrian so he can either, if this certain thing happens, he will be like the Prince of Darkness, like um, Satan reincarnated, or if it doesn't happen to him, then they will have to take the shell of his body and put the life of Adrian into someone else, if that makes any sense. But I really can't say how they would do that, because, again, I don't want to spoil everything. But what this does really well is it takes place when Adrian is little. I'm going to call him Adrian from now on rather than Andrew. That way there's no confusion. Um, it takes place when Adrian is little, like maybe seven or eight years old. And then in the second part of the film, the second act, it takes place when Adrian is of age. And he is a kind of like a rock and roll star. Now, there is a guy who plays Guy, his uh, paternal father. And he got what he was promised, and that is to become a star. Now, Adrian is living the life. He is like kind of a, he's in a rock and roll band. And 
he's in constant turmoil with himself, whether he's evil or not evil. And he does have people looking out for him that are on the side of light. This is a very ambitious movie. Uh, Joe said that when we were watching it, and I do agree with him. And I have seen this before, at least most of it. A little story here. Um, because I've pretty much, that's all I can say on the synopsis, because, like I said, I don't want to spoil anything in case people haven't seen it. So, I remember when this actually came on network television, I was probably eight or nine years old. And it was on the weekend, during the daytime. Well, that was when my father, it was on, at the same time my father would go to work out. There was this place called the Metro Nautilus. And it was one of those new fancy, because I'm old, as you know, one of those new fancy gyms, um, not free weights. They had the machines and everything, and this was all brand new at the time. Um, and it was a place where you could go and work out. You had the hot tubs and all this and that. So this movie came on, and I really wanted to watch it because I like I like Ruth Gordon. I feel like everything she plays in is like gold for me. Um, I grew up watching her on Every Which Way But Loose and Any any Which Way You Can, and I just think she's awesome. She's so funny. And even in this movie, she has some funny lines. But anyway, so my father wanted to go work out. I was like, no, I want to stay here and watch this. But I couldn't, so I went with my father. So I started watching the film. I missed a little bit when we were in on the way to the gym where he wanted to work out but since I went with him every weekend they knew me there so if there weren't people on the stationary bikes I could sit on the stationary bike and ride and watch the television that they had up there and they just happened to have watch or look what's happened to Rosemary's Baby on so I saw most of it at the Nautilus place some of it at home and then <laughs> When we left, some of it at my house, the very end of it. So it was kind of scattered, but I do remember bits and pieces of it. So uh, just an interesting story and something from my past, which kind of makes this a little bit special to me. So, yeah, um, if you can, definitely check out Look What's Happened to Rosemary's Baby. A lot of people have problems with it, and it actually has a 3.3 on IMDb. I think this has a great story, and it's a TV movie. What do you expect? So, definitely check it out. And don't forget to check out Joe's review for Look What's Happened to Rosemary's Baby. Remember, guys, physical media matters. And until next time, peace.